Hi, welcome to Laura's Pandora. So, today I'm going to show you how I made this cool Encanto leopard. I'm thinking it's a leopard. Uh, my kids love the show Encanto, and uh, as I was watching it, I was like, I could totally make one of those stuffed animals just like the main character made, you know, for that little kid. Anyways, <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. It's kind of made out of felt and some embroidery string, some wooden buttons, and I really didn't use very much felt. I just got those felt sheets. I got uh, an orange one. I think it would probably look more like the character if it was more of like a yellow sort of thing, but the store didn't have a yellow, what I wanted, so orange works as well. Orange, some white, a uh, little bit of gray for the spots and the line on his tail, and some tan. And then I just went through my embroidery string stash and just kind of picked out a bunch of random colors. Some purple, turquoise, pink, light blue, very make it very like homemade looking but still cool, just like the movie. Anyways, okay, so let me show you how I did that. So I first started out with drawing out on just a single piece of paper, some sketches of the sh body shape and like how big I wanted the head and like how thick I wanted the legs sort of thing. So it's pretty much this profile of the creature, of the leopard. And then I did a separate thing for his tail, a separate paper pattern for his tail, and his little muzzle area, and his cute little ears. Now, the tricky part, besides, you know, doing the sides and the tails, that's pretty easy because it's kind of a 2 d uh, structure, right? is also making a 3D structure is the third side, which is this belly side. So I just took the leg shape of the side and mirrored it on itself and figured out I wanted kind of a, a up lipper uh, point, like a point right here for the head part and then kind of a flat part right here for the bum area. And there's going to be a couple slits uh, on the side, like you cut little slits to kind of create the uh, three-dimensional thing, and there's a slit right here on his bum area. Okay, so the next step is to cut all the pieces out from felt. So you cut out the pattern of the paper, and then you place it, and I traced it with some um, black marker sort of thing so that I could just easily cut it out. Uh, white and tan and, you know, orange for the body area. And to make it kind of as close to the movie as possible, I didn't see any sewing machines in the show, so I'm guessing she just sewed it all by hand and stitched it all by hand. So first I, you know, put these two cut out pieces of the tail together and then I just heart started hand stitching it with um, some orange uh, string and then once I liked the shape sort of thing I stuffed it and started doing the the um, decorative part of the tail so stitched around the white part and attached it looped around some gray attached it and hand stitched it until I liked it <clears throat> now on to the body part. So the body part I did, uh, let's see, oh, I did the ears next. So the ears pretty easy, um, you just pretty much put the white and the orange together and just hand stitch it all the way around, um, sort of thing, make sure there's knots and it's pretty secure. Okay. So, on to the body stitching part. So what I did is I, I first did all the slits. So I kind of cut the slits 
and I sewed them back together. So I started from this point right here, the back part of the animal, and I started stitching the orange and the white together, the legs, and then I got to the tip point right here and I did this leg part on the other side. So it was open, There was n this seam wasn't sewn yet, right here. Hand stitched it all and then I stuffed it and kind of looked at it and made it sure it was kind of like what I wanted, right? I guess with hand stitching there's a lot of like pull and push and, and stitch to make it exactly how you want it. Okay, so then after I do the legs, the stitching of the legs, then I started going up the bum area and I inserted the tail and stitched the tail into the bum area while I was pinching these gray or these purple <coughs> while I was holding together this orange, these two orange sides together, inserted the tail, stitched it, and then started stitching up the back part. And I left the head so I could make sure that I could stuff this bum area really well, right? The legs were stuffed and I just really wanted it to be firm. I squished the orange fabric together and I cut a uh, slit that was mirroring uh, both sides and then I inserted the ears and started sewing the ears into the head area and stitched it okay then I started stitching this part right here and the last part of stitching was this area right here but I left it open so that I could stuff the head area um, and just really, that's the last part I stuffed. Then I stitched downwards, and the last thing that you need to do is attach this uh, mouthpiece area. And I realized I wanted the, p the cheeks to be like puffy, so I had to uh, cut out another piece of the puffy cheeks and start stitching those around and then stuff it full of batting and then attach it to the head part. And I stitched that around and I looked at it and I was like, there's something missing. And I looked back at the picture and I realized it needed a chin. So I cut out a piece like this, kind of a teardrop shape. And I started stitching up around and stitching up around and, and then I stuffed it full of batting, so it kind of gave that definition. Okay! All right. Then the next thing to do is just add the details. So I went back and forth from the image from the movie and figured out, okay, there's purple uh, stitching right here for his whiskers, but then the ear has purple on the opposite side, and the legs have purple. And I just kind of mi mixed up the colors. So turquoise on this cheek and a pink nose. And the pink nose I just stitched back and forth and then kind of a lighter blue that goes all the way down. And just mixed up the stitching. Now it's pretty tricky to do that with yarn. Um, I tried doing it with like embroidery string but it didn't really pop like the movie. So. I got a bunch of yarn and I tried stitching it and I realized I needed pliers to pull the uh, needle out from the felt. And that's how I did a bunch of all these stitches is that I just kind of made a stitch and then yanked it with some pliers, made a stitch and yanked it with some pliers. I actually broke a couple needles because I don't think the needles were meant to do that, I guess, go through thick felt strip, you know, fabric sort of thing, but it works, and I kind of got the look of the, uh, the movie, you know, very big stitches. Now, for the spots, I just cut out a bunch of random 
size spots that are more like squares, not like perfect circles. And then just hand stitched them with embroidery string instead. I realized like I couldn't do the pliers on these spots. It would it just didn't look right. So embroidery string, I did like orange and pink and place the spots and stitched them like randomly. It doesn't have to be like a blind stitch or anything like that. It's just supposed to look homemade but cool looking. Okay, so I just attached some dark um, wooden beads to the front of it. Um, it has like a little white patch so I just added a like little felt circle white patch here. And then on the other eye in the movie, it's kind of painted white in the center, so you could also paint that little section white to, if you really wanted to make it look exactly like on the movie. And that is how I made this leopard cool thing from Encanto. And as soon as I finished it, my little guy was just holding on to it and hugging it like this and it was just so cute and adorable. Um, definitely screams, I made this by hand, sort of thing. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this.